Hey guys, I think I know what's the most fun exercise the microbit can do to aid its recovery. Dancing is a really fun way to get the body moving repeatedly. However, some movement is repeated more than the others. For example, you may jump once, but clap twice. Shafin, can we do this in code? What a great idea, Bobo! We can place a loop inside of another loop. The inside loop is known as the nested loop. What? That's amazing! But how do we calculate the number of times a command sequence will run inside a nested loop? Well, to calculate that, you would need to multiply the nested loop value by the external loop value. For example, if the external loop repeats two times, and the nested loop repeats three times, the total number of loops would be two times three, which would be six times in total. Oh, I get it now. Chipsis, if an external loop repeats three times and the nested loop repeats four times, how many times would the command sequence repeat itself? Big bang bingo, Chipsis. The answer is 12 as we multiply 3 and 4. You learned this very quickly, Chipsters, but you need to be careful. Let's imagine loops to be like boxes. You have a box with the number 2 on it. Anything that you put in this box will be multiplied by 2. So, if you put one apple inside, you get two apples. But now, you have a bigger box with the number 3 on it and you placed your old box inside the new one. How many apples would you have? You would have six apples. That's correct, Bobo. But do keep in mind, the bigger box may still have space, so you may still multiply other objects by three. This works with loops as well. If you command outside of the nested loop, they will repeat based on the number stated on the other loop. Very interesting, Shafin. That sounds like a perfect way to program the microbit to dance. Dancing is a great way to improve its health and aid its recovery. Yeah, what a great idea, Bobo. Hey, Chipsters, come join me. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial. <laughs>